Hello everyone. Welcome to you on Think Future Academy. Today we are going to learn how to generate auto serial number by using different techniques like raw, is blank, subtotal, aggregate, count a, auto serial number and roman serial numbers. Let's begin. You can see here my data and different formulas I used it here. I will attach this Excel sheet with my YouTube video. Don't worry about it. You can download from the link. You can see here I use the different formulas to generate auto serial number. <laughs> we will see how we can do this one. See here if I'm using a simple raw formula, what it will do. It is giving me a three number. Why? Because it is reading the three from the serial number, this one here. I want to give it to the serial number one. What I will do, I will just write D1 is my cell reference. And then I will just drag the information down. The other way is to calculate equals to row, which row, the existing E3 row minus subtract the previous row, subtract from this row and fix the reference by pressing F4 key and close the bracket. You will find here automatically these number will be generated. Now the next is row function using a specific cell information equals to rows which rows f1 to f1 f1 to f1 this is my reference i'm going to close the bracket and the first information of this cell i'm going to lock it that's all and just drag this information it's there now the next method is equals to row which row this row equals to row this minus one and before this one i need to close this row bracket that's all and you will find the numbers here here I used some other method as well, which is, for example, now here if I'm using the row function equals to row, what we learned it here, it is reading the third cell of the information row. I want to subtract this information from this one. Simply just click here and do minus two. Why minus two? Because two numbers are behind this one. So it will do the same for you and now you can generate your other numbers. Here I used a simple methodology which we are as of now using uh, general number equals to this number plus one. That's all. And you can drag the information down and it will be there. For example, now if I'm removing this serial number, what will be the reaction? You can see it here. Here, number eight, number number eight gone. This reference is coming here. This one gone. This reference is available. And here, all your numbers are same as per the serial number. So better to use this method, which I'm going to make it blue for you. Like blue I'm using. Okay. This is, you can see, skipping the numbers. Here, also, you have a proper serial number. So you can use this technique or this technique. Next is, if you want a Roman numbers, you can do this one. Just use the formula of Roman equals to Roman. Use the row function. Okay, which row? This one. Bracket close, minus one. And you will find here Roman numbers. Next is, we will use here is blank formula. In this 
is blank formula what does this mean see if i am removing this information for example here you will not find the numbers here okay wherever i will start filling the information these numbers will be here so we will see that how we can do this one see here the first number you will put it as it is and the second one what you will do you will write the formula equals to if bracket started b4 equals to is blank within bracket false comma inverted comma start inverted commas close comma and this one plus one and close the bracket now you can drag this information down okay if the information is not here it will not give you the reference number it is blank you can see it here I am just removing some of the information and as long as I am writing the automatically serial number will be start generating you can see it here yeah okay the next is subtotal function you can use here a subtotal function what it does mean how it will work equals to subtotal subtotal you will use count a number three just click on this one comma and from where to where this one b3 colon b3 and this first b3 fix this one by pressing f4 reference number it will be same it this will not change but these will be changed bracket close bracket close and enter now just push the information you can get all the information you can see it here if i'm changing i'm removing information also doing something its serial number is changing okay then we are using the aggregate function aggregation we will see that how it will work it's also very easy the same methodology we will use it equals to if b3 equals to blank comma the same method aggregate aggregate what aggregate count function number two comma ignore hidden rows i'm selecting this one okay ignore hidden rows comma okay what it is this information a2 colon a2 and i am just going to fix this value this number only i'm going to fix it i'm going to close the bracket plus one and close the bracket i'm adding just number in this one so whenever i have information you will see that one now i'm going to see wherever the information is available it is a start making your serial number get the point if it is available here you will get the serial number here as well for example i'm going to you, you will see automatically updating the down numbers where aggregated is used so this is aggregation okay now i'm using the count a function here in this formula it is similar to that but only i'm changing little bit here i'm going to remove it okay equals to if b3 equals to blank comma blank comma count a you will select from here count a what count a b3 to b3 this information to this information bracket close and this reference the first reference lock it 
now I will just drag the information down for you. You can see it number is there. There is auto serial number available here in the Excel. You can generate automatically these numbers as well. We will see that how we can generate. For example, if I'm writing here one and further, I need the numbers here. I will just go here, home tab and fill. Here is an option serial column and up to what number I'm looking for up to 20 for example I'm looking now you can see it is automatically filling the number and if you need column and now I'm looking in the rows you will see here rows I have selected and 20 okay you can see up to 20 here filled by rows and here for example you need to fill the numbers by spacing two four six eight for example just come here again click series okay and here just put two and you will find here up to for example i'm looking up to 50. okay here i have not selected the two that's the reason i will just click on the two and then row then two and then press okay there is some issue we will see it why it is not doing okay by trend now linear growth autofill now date growth by two we'll see it now we'll use the different options justify serial Fifty. Now you can see it here. It's available now. We were not selecting the option. Now you can see it row and given the range. For example, here in this one, number seven, I'm looking for three. Um, I will write here. Just change it three up till seventy and that's all three added automatically everywhere so these are the basic methods which you can use for your data the which one is the best either you can use the aggregate or subtotal it is automatically calculating for you the numbers it's up to you up to your requirement what you are looking for thank you very much if you like my videos please share and subscribe thank you very much